the much-awaited scenic cruising around the Horn was finally upon us. The Golden Princess was scheduled to sail around it late in the afternoon, and our cabin balconies would offer perfect views, so we bundled up and patiently waited for the spectacular unusual rock formations with deep grooves and granite cliffs covered in trees that are its signature features. Located on Chile's Isla Hornos in the Tierra del Fuego archipelago, Cape Horn is widely considered to be the southernmost tip of South America. The culmination of the Andes mountain range, the legendary Cape, is prone to unpredictably strong winds, choppy waters, icebergs and rogue waves, none of which face the princess ships that sail here. Nevertheless, hazardous maritime conditions have protected the rocky region from human settlement, so we enjoyed the same views as the earliest explorers discovered centuries ago. Navigating around the Cape was a near impossible feat for sailors who braved its intense winds and treacherous waters in the 17th century. However, those fortunate enough to return from a successful trip were entitled to numerous benefits, including dining with one foot on the dinner table and wearing a gold loop earring to boast of their seafaring victory. Though Cape Horn became a significant trade route between the 18th and the early 20th centuries, the opening of the Panama Canal rendered this route obsolete. But that hasn't prevented adventurers from recreational journeys to the Cape, or the bragging rights that come along with them. Cape Horn lore is extensive, full of fear and fascination. Summed up in the sailor's motto, below 40 south there is no law, below 50 south there is no god. Over the past 400 years, the Horn's cold, tempestuous waters have claimed more than 1,000 ships and 15,000 lives. The weather remained clear and the sea conditions moderate through the two-hour scenic cruising around the Horn, allowing us to enjoy the once-in-a-lifetime experience even more. At this spot, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet, often in a confrontation. No land to the east, none to the west. Winds sweep all the way around the world from the west. The closest arm of Antarctica, Graham Land of the Antarctic Peninsula, lies 600 miles to the south across the roughest stretch of water known on the planet, Drake Passage. Since its discovery by the Dutch mariners in 1616, Cape Horn has become known as the graveyard of ships. And so we finally had in front of us the southernmost tip of Horn Island. Now we had earned the bragging rights for having sailed around Cape Horn, as well as the official document certifying that we were on board the Golden Princess when she rounded Cape Horn during her 14 days cruise from Buenos Aires to Valparaíso.
In view is Cape Horn's lighthouse and outpost, and to the left is the famous monument erected in 1992 in memory of the mariners lost in the waters of Cape Horn. The interior outline of its facing steel sheets form the image of a wandering albatross in flight. A nearby marble plaque is inscribed with a Spanish poem by Chilean Sara Vial. Soy el albatros que te espera en el final del mundo. Soy el alma olvidada de los marinos muertos que cruzaron el Cabo de Hornos desde todos los mares de la tierra. Pero ellos no murieron en las furiosas olas. Hoy vuelan en mis alas hacia la eternidad en la última grieta de los vientos antárticos. I am the albatross that waits for you at the end of the world. I am the forgotten souls of dead mariners who passed Cape Horn from all the oceans of the earth. But they did not die in the furious waves. Today they sail on my wings toward eternity in the last crack of Antarctic winds.